Gold mining often plays a significant role in Burkina Faso's economy. Burkina Faso has become Africa's fourth biggest producer of gold in 2012. Production of mineral commodities is limited to cement, dolomite, gold, granite, marble, phosphate rock, pumice, other volcanic materials, and salt. Child slavery is commonplace in the gold industry. Topic: <laughs> Structure of the mineral industry. As of 2006, companies exploring for gold in Burkina Faso include Goldrush Resources, Griffin Minerals Limited, Orbis Gold Limited, and Golden Rim Resources 2010 of Australia, Clough Gold PLC, and Randgold Resources Limited of the United Kingdom, and Canadian companies Channel Resources Limited, Etruscan Resources, Goldbelt Resources Limited, High River Gold Mines Limited, Ozone Gold Corporation, Riverston Resources Inc., and Society. Samafo. Etruscan also explores in Burkina Faso for copper. Topic: Commodities. Topic: Gold. In 2012, there were six gold mines in Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is the third biggest site for gold exploration in Africa and fourth biggest gold producer in Africa. West African gold is not as high grade as gold from South Africa. Clough updated its bankable feasibility study for the Kalsaka Gold Project, which is located about 150 km northwest of the country's capital, Ouagadougou. Measured resources were estimated to be 6.5 million metric tons MT at a grade of 1.6 grams per metric ton GT gold, and indicated resources were estimated to be 2.7 MT at a grade of 1.2 grams T gold. Following the completion of the bankable feasibility study, the company decided to continue with the development of the project and to bring it into production. In October, Ghana-based Banlaw Africa Limited was appointed as the mining contractor. Clough held a 78% interest in the project. The remaining was held by IMARB Industria Metallurgica of Brazil, 12%, and the government, 10%. Etruscan continued with construction work activities at its 90% owned Yuga Gold property, which is located about 180 kilometers southeast of Ouagadougou. Gold reserve estimates at the Yuga mine were reported to be 6.6 .6 MT at an average grade of 2.7 grams, T gold. Commissioning of the mine was scheduled for mid-2007, and production was expected to be about 2,700 kg per year, kilogram per year. As of November 30, 2006, the company had invested about $21.7 million in the project, had made purchase commitments of about $7 million for equipment and services, and had made additional purchase commitments of about $10.2 million for ongoing development activities. High River continued with the construction of the Topaco Burham Open Pit Gold Mine and Mill facilities, which are located about 200 km northeast of Algadugu. The mine's first gold pour was scheduled for the second quarter of 2007. Initial production was expected to be about 3,100 kg per year and to reach about 4,400 kg per year by 2008. Measured and indicated resources were estimated to be about 12.6 mt of ore at a grade of 2.77 g, t gold. The Topaco Burham Mine and Mill would be operated by High Rivers subsidiary Society des Mines de Topaco High River held a 90% interest in the project, and the government held the remaining 10%. In addition to Topaco Burham, High River held other exploration licenses in the country, including the 1000 km2 Bissa Group permits, which are located about 80 km north of Ouagadougou. Measured and indicated resources for the Bissa Group were estimated to be about 12 mount of ore at a grade of 1.72 grams, T gold. 
The company invested about $2 million in exploration in 2006 and planned to invest an additional $8 million in 2007 to test identified target areas at the Bissa Group properties. Gold mining in Burkina Faso continues to grow rapidly, with more than 15 major discoveries made since 2006. With this has come increasing amounts of merger and acquisition activity and more explorers flocking to the region. In 2017 junior mining company Nexus Gold began district-scale exploration of the Nyangwela and Bubulu gold concessions, which are located within the Boromo Greenstone Belt of north-central Burkina Faso. The belt is host to several active gold mines. A recent report from publication All African revealed that the recent boom in the country's gold mining industry in the last three years has made the country one of Africa's leading producers and also asserted that it was luring a whole generation into the sector for work. Children as young as six were reported to have left school in order to work in the mines, mainly artisanal ones where they crush stones, sieve dust and transport water around the site. Children are even visiting mines on their days off from school, influenced by their parents who have made money there. According to the Ministry of Finance, gold has become the top export commodity. In 2011, it earned Burkina Faso 127 billion CFA, $247 million. Between 2007 and 2011, it brought in 440 billion CFA, accounting for 64.7% of all exports and 8% of GDP. Production rose from 23 tons in 2010 to 32 tons in 2011. Gold mines are spread across the country's northern, western, southwestern and central regions. Burkina Faso's gold industry employs slave laborers and does not spare children. In 2013, the U.S. Department of Labor reported that gold mining becoming an even more fruitful industry, it has resulted in "...an increased number of children working in gold mines and thousands of students leaving school." A December 2014 report further corroborates the fact that child labor and forced labor are common practices in Burkina Faso's mining industry. The mentioned Dole report contains a list of goods produced by child labor or forced labor and Burkina Faso is listed among 74 other countries where such labor conditions have been observed. Zinc. AIM Resources Limited of Australia continued with the development of the Percoa zinc deposit, which is located about 120 km west of Ouagadougou. In December 2005, Snowden Mining Industry Consultants completed a bankable feasibility study for Percoa. Production was expected to be about 130,000 t per year of concentrate at a grade of 53% zinc. Overall zinc recovery to concentrate was projected to be 93%, and contain zinc production, to average 68,000 t per year, zinc concentrates would be transported by railway to the port of Abidjan in Côte d'Ivoire and by road to the port of Tima in Ghana. The first shipment of zinc concentrate was expected to be delivered in 2008. In its 2006 annual report, AIM announced that it had signed letters of intent with Louis Dreyfus Commodities Metals Suisse SA, Votorantum Metais of Brazil, and Switzerland-based X Strata PLC to finalize offtake agreements for the production of zinc concentrates from Percoa. X Strata planned to process Percoa concentrates through either the San Juan de Neva zinc smelter in Spain or the Nordenum zinc smelter in Germany. According to AIM company reports, the government had upgraded the road that leads to the mine and had constructed a dam that would provide water for the project. As of year-end, measured and indicated mineral resources at Percoa were estimated to be 6.72 mt at grades of 16.4% zinc and 35.4 g, T silver at a 5% zinc cut-off grade. In February 2006, Samafo awarded the engineering, procurement, and construction contract for the development of the Mana Gold Mine to Genvia Consulting Group Inc.
According to the company's 2006 annual report, measured resources were estimated to be about 2.1 mt at a grade of 1.99 g t gold and indicated resources were estimated to be 2.5 mt at a grade of 2.03 g t gold. Average production, which was expected to begin in late 2007, was estimated to be about 3,900 kg per year of gold for the first three years and about 3,000 kg per year for the remaining life of the mine. The company approved a $3.5 million budget for the project for 2007. 